What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just taking a quick look as to what is coming on Monday. So we do know that we just had the Epic Netherlands here, Marco Van Basten, Hullet and Rijkaard. Probably one of the most popular packs that they have released, but we are going to be getting the Spanish League Guardians here. So these are the standard cards that are going to be coming. Obviously the player levels are not fully finalized yet. And we also know that we're going to be getting these legends, Ed Mielsen, Roberto Carlos, and Albert Fair, right? So I think the, the main thing now is that, you know, until the December update, I think we're just going to get kind of, you know, cards on a Monday every week, right? We have Edge crossing Roberto Carlos and we have Fortress at Mielsen. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to Carlos and haven't got him, especially as a double booster. I, I'm a bit torn. I do already have Carlos, so we'll have to see, right? But these are the cards, right? So this is just a quick build here. Now, obviously, this has only got 25 levels already. It's not fully updated until the until the servers come, you know, online or that they are updated, right? But you've got a fairly decent card here. Like, with all intents and purposes, you've got a 99 shot power, Roberto Carlos. He's going to have 85 aggression. And again, this is only with 25 levels. I predict he'll probably have 31 levels. We've seen a couple of players like Rijkaard have 29 levels. But I think that the big thing with this card is going to be the fact that you'll be able to get, like, dribbling, everything into the mid-80s, passing into the 90s. And, of course, his dexterity, his speed, his kicking power, his stamina, and his defending all around that 90 to, to, to 95 mark, especially if he has another, what, maybe 10 points to go with another five levels. So you're going to be able to probably get that defendant up to maybe like level 14. Um, and then with the boost, you'll be able to get his aggression to 90. Now he also has with the player skills, he's edge crossing here. He's got blocker as well on this card. I do think that this card is going to be really, really nice. Long range shooting, rising shot, first time shot. And of course, long throw, outside curler and pinpoint crossing. It's going to be a very nice left back, an attacking or offensive left back that can also play left midfield as well. As for Ed Mielsen, right? So I didn't really get too excited about Ed Mielsen before I looked at his card, but I do think that he is going to be a very solid performer. He's down as an anchorman. And of course, he is going to have Fortress. Now, Fortress only kind of like works if you have a lead into the first in the first half going into the second half. So if you're 1-0 up or 2-1 up, you will get a boost to players' defensive stats. Um, but again, there's no like kind of visual guide for that. So I do feel as if that these cards now, they're they're not as balanced as they used to be, right? They're they're kind of, I think there is more of a discrepancy now between like these cards that they're releasing. Again, this is only 27 levels here on Ed Mielsen as an anchorman. He can play CB or DMF. But even at that, he's going to have 90 speed. And of course, he's going to have the defensive awareness 99, tackling 95. You're going to have all his defensive stats easily into the 90s while still having his physical contact, his jump, his speed, and his kick and power and acceleration all around a nice threshold for a CB or a DMF. Obviously, if he's got 31 levels, he's going to even be better. But that's just a quick guide. And also, this guy's got defending plus two. And Carlos has got agility plus two for his booster. And then last but not least, we have Albert Ferrer, who on first inspection doesn't look like he will be that good. But when you look at his stats, especially if he has 31, 32, 33 levels, I mean, if he has 33 levels, it's over because he's going to pretty much have every single stat into the 99. Like you'll have all your defensive stats 99 while still having here a 95 speed, 90 rated acceleration type player. And of course, you can put the double booster on him then as well to get that jump and physical contact to 90 and 85. It's ridiculous. The only thing he's weak on is heading here. But again, that's not a huge deal for a card like this that looks to be Cannavaro esque. That's basically what he's going to look like. And again, the player skills. He doesn't have any of the special ones, but he does have one touch pass, man marking, interception, blocker, slide, and tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit the only thing you'd need to give him is aerial superiority so let me know what you guys think that's just a quick look as to what is coming monday will you spin or are you kind of over the cards and looking for a big gameplay update now because i know i am kind of looking forward to the december update so let me know in the comments below any hype there at all i'll talk to you in a bit